remember the importance of each breath. There's a sutta where the Buddha talks about future dangers, aging, illness, death, breakdown of society, split in the Sangha. These things could happen. Aging, illness, and death are going to happen for sure. Society breaks down every now and then. And if you happen to be around when that happens, what are you going to do? Well, you need an attainment that's not touched by these things. Do you have that yet? If not, there's work to be done. Right here, right here. Don't tell yourself, well, I've got a whole day, I can meditate later, or I can work hard later. I can rest now. You do have to rest from time to time, but the mind tends to side with the resting more than it does with the effort. So watch out for that tendency. Learn to see how much rest is actually necessary. And then beyond that, you work on the meditation. Now, if you're physically tired, you can lie down, but try to keep your mind alert. Keep watch for what's arising in the mind. Because the word for meditation, bhavana, doesn't mean that you sit with your eyes closed. It means that you develop good qualities in the mind. And you can do that anywhere, all the time. And you should be doing it everywhere, all the time. Because we don't know how much time is left. We live in a little bubble here at the monastery, and there's a lot of trouble outside. So how long this bubble's going to last, we don't know, but we do know we've got it right now. So take advantage of it. Be heedful enough to realize that there are dangers. Don't get so overwhelmed by the dangers that you can't do anything. Try to develop a quality of watchfulness and a sense of purpose, and a sense that your choices really do make a difference. That's the right mix of qualities that go into heedfulness. As for worry, just put the worries aside. Focus on what you can do. And, you, and when you really start thinking in terms of what you can do, you find that's a lot more time to meditate than you might have thought. So just keep that principle in mind. As long as you're breathing, you've got one more chance to practice, one more chance to practice each time you breathe in, each time you breathe in. So take advantage of those chances as they, as they come, because once they're gone, they're gone. Time seems to be cyclical, but it's really unidirectional. The past is gone, you can't bring it back. And even as it's going past us, it's hard to say how fast it's going. We were reading that book a while back, they're saying that space-time moves at the speed of light. Whether that's true or not, it still gives a good sense of how quickly things go. So snatch whatever good qualities you can out of the mind while you can, and you will have used that time well. <laughs>